I don't understand why the New York Post had to make the need to highlight the fact that they were Muslim. I feel as though uh, possibly they were trying to uh, enforce a narrative. Um, I don't really think that the fact that they were Muslim had anything to do with the uh, travesty that happened that day. Like, how would you know that? Just like seeing any Christian get killed, in my opinion, you know, like at a young age is just devastating to me because I just feel like God alone loves everybody. So just to see other people fight over religion is just devastating, obviously. The only way you can make that happen is if you planted the seeds of hate inside them, the seeds that are like really strong and they germinate and they become, they flower into something that's just profoundly powerful. It's the only way, because remember what I said the other day, these people went to church the Sunday before this rally and the Sunday after this rally, and they worshiped the same God that the two of you worship. Things are more uh, flipped nowadays where there are Middle Eastern religions who are perceived more violent. That's not my perception, mm -hmm. uh, but I guess you're trying to plant in the seed of Christians that they can't make that assumption uh, or it would be unfair to do so because in the 20th century compared to the 21st century, uh, Christians were more violent than uh, Muslims and other people. So and what do you think my purpose is for doing that, right? Like, what, what's your, what do you think? What am, I, what am I trying to do? Do you guys ever, as Christians, when these shootings happen here in the United States, um, how often do you say like, oh, those are Christians who did that? Or Do I sound anti-Christian to you? I a little bit say, what do you, what do you hear that I sound anti-Christian? First off, this this is a, a New York New York Post is kind of sensational, in a way. But this was in, from 2015, to a, a Muslim couple out in San Bernardino, California, went into a workplace and shot 14 people, killed them, and then injured other people. And that's the, the headline. Like, what 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 do you think when you see that? Like, what comes to mind? Uh, I think it's devastating the fact that those people lost their lives. Uh, I don't understand why uh, the New York Post had to make the need to highlight the fact that they were Muslim. I feel as though uh, possibly they were trying to uh, enforce a narrative. Um, I don't really think that the fact that they were Muslim had anything to do with the uh, travesty that happened that day. Like, how would you know that? Because I mean, I'm not educated on the exact situation. I just don't believe that religion had to be tied into it. Um, okay. You know, like I said, it's a shame that those people lost their lives. Uh, I don't know what happened in the case. I don't know the intention okay. of those right. people. But, but, your, but your initial in inclination, your initial spot, like place is to say, wait, why bring Islam into it? Even though these people, may, that was part of the, what went behind it. But bro, Brandon, what do you think about Muslims when you see that? Like, what's your, like, don't be politically, just like, what do you, what's your gut feeling? I'm not saying you're being politically correct, bro. I feel like ever since like 9-11, I feel like they always, like news stations in general always try to paint like Muslims as like bad people. Obviously, this is a horrible situation, kids getting killed. But like, I just feel like you don't have to label it like specifically on that because there's been many cases of other religions killing people like Christians, um, Jews. It's like it, every religion kills, in my opinion. So like, I feel like everybody always tries to paint Muslims as these terrible people. But obviously, you were talking about in a couple of classes how the big graph, like there was a very yeah. small percentage of Muslims being killed. And I just feel like every news station is just trying to paint Muslims as horrible people, but they're not okay, in reality. But these two people were bat horrible mm -hmm. people, right? Mm -hmm. But these were. Yeah. So now say what you just said with the idea that these two people clearly were, or one of you, like. I feel as though uh, they were just bad people. I don't really think like, um, like them, uh, it was two people you said? Two. I don't, I don't yeah. think those two individuals uh, paint the entirety of what the religion stands for. I think those people were just very bad people. And okay. Like I said, uh, being Muslim did not have to... Okay. As a Christian, right? Well, as a Christian, what, where is your branding? Where does your mind go? Um, just like seeing any Christian get killed, in my opinion, you know, like at a young age is just devastating to me because I just feel like God alone loves everybody. So just to see other people fight over religion is just devastating. Obviously, I don't know what like transpired in all of this, like whether it was good or bad, but just seeing a single Christian alone um, get killed is just devastating to me. And I don't like seeing it. Bro, how about you? Like, what to you? Um, I like the last situation. I think it's very tragic that those people lost their lives. 
um as a christian though i feel uh like i don't have, hold a grudge on those uh muslim people who uh killed the christians mm -hmm. um you know your initial reaction could be like oh you're angry that that happened but you know you have to just move forward and it's usually a good thing to not like uh forget what happened but grow empathy for the killers because mm -hmm. obviously they're going through something mm -hmm. and uh you know they're probably in need of a, a lot of love and i don't like i don't know what transpired for that to happen so so i'm gonna go back to the other class right remember what i said so we see this the anti-semitism and the hatred of jewish people is we it's often discussed as the longest hatred okay and the longest hatred with this story that got sort of woven into Christian scripture that Jews killed Jesus, right? The Romans killed Jesus. I mean, you can say any number of things, but clearly Romans killed Jesus. But the idea suddenly becomes like, really, Jews killed Jesus. And so when we think of what has happened to Jewish people and leading, well, here, let me just show you a couple other things here. I want to go back. Right, so here's the thing. I chose the New International Version because it's it's more up to date. The King James Version basically practically says it just says it much more direct and much worse. Right, so imagine that you, the two of you as Christians, if part if woven into a story, it keeps getting woven into your entire belief system is this idea that hey, Jews are responsible. Jews killed your God because Jesus is your God, right, and like. Jews killed God back then, but every Jew alive today even is responsible. And so what I did in that class is look at like Nazi Germany, and I think, wow, six million Jews. How do you get people to kill six million other people? Like, how do you, how do you make that happen? The only way you can make that happen is if you planted the seeds of hate inside them the seeds that are like really strong and they germinate and they become, they flower into something that's just profoundly powerful. It's the only way, because remember what I said the other day, these people went to church the Sunday before this rally and the Sunday after this rally, and they worshiped the same God that the two of you worshiped, the same one that, that I worshiped when I was baptized, well, not baptized, because I was just a little kid, but when I was christened in the church, right? So, Okay, so my question now to you, this is where we're going to talk, right? What do, you hear, what do you hear me saying? What am I saying? Why am I talking about this? Like, what do you think? And how do you manage it? Just like, first off, what do you hear me saying? I wouldn't really say what's what you're saying. I was just saying what you're trying to explain, um, that Christians are at fault for a lot of this, like killings in World War I and World War II, obviously, and obviously... Um, with Germany killing six million Jews, um, basically just explaining to us how trying to paint Christians as bad. I would possibly, it's not like paint them as bad, but like the cause for all of this is what you're trying to say, I would basically be saying. So you, you hear me saying Christians are the cause or Christians are, okay, any, what else? Um, I feel as though looking at the chart possibly you're trying to uh put in the mind of christians because i feel as though um things are more uh flipped nowadays where there are middle eastern religions who are perceived more violent that's not my mm -hmm, perception mm -hmm. uh but i guess you're trying to plant in the seed of christians that they can't make that assumption uh or it would be unfair to do so because in the 20th century compared to the 21st century uh christians were more violent than uh muslims and other people so and what do you think my purpose is for doing that, right? Like, what, what's your, what do you think? What am I, what am I trying to do? Um, basically trying to say that all religion, that not only Christians, but like, sorry, you're saying that Christians alone, sorry, so you're trying to basically say that Christians also kill people as well. Like, a lot of people say, oh, Muslims and other Christians kill uh -huh. a lot of people. You're also saying Christians kill a lot of people also. And the purpose, and the the purpose of me saying that? What, do, what, what, what's trying, my, what do you think my intention is? Yeah, you also went over in a couple of other classes that, like, there's, like, a very small percentage of, like, crazy people, like, in certain religions, and same thing Christianity. There's some crazy people in Christianity as well, and you're also trying to, I feel like that's what you're trying to point, that religions have crazy people. Yeah, and so what, 
Jamar, what do you, and, and my purpose is what? I feel as though the purpose is to uh, showcase that the fact that uh, a few crazy people don't make up the entirety of the religion. Kind of what I said earlier with the first slide with the uh, 14 killed people that were killed by the two Muslims. Those two uh, ill-minded individuals don't make up for the entirety of the Muslim community. Yeah, like when, when uh, like yesterday there was a shooting in Kansas City, right? And it's like a couple, most, I think they found a couple juveniles and so on. Do you guys ever, as Christians, when these shootings happen here in the United States, um, how often do you say like, oh, those are Christians who did that? Or I don't blame anybody at all. I just blame. No, I'm not blaming. Yeah. How often do you just say, have an awareness, oh, those are Christians who did that, huh? I wouldn't say they're Christians. Um, I just feel like a lot of people are, in general aren't Christians because I feel like you say 67 people in the world like now are actually Christians, but I think it's less than 5%, not even that. Um, like People say they're Christian, but they don't actually go to church. They don't actually read their Bible. They don't actually pray to God. So like, if you want to say they're actually Christian, you can't actually be all the way in and all the way out. Um, that's my okay. opinion also. So like, like but isn't, okay, but I'm going to push back on that really fast because you just put yourself in a corner right there. I think you probably realize. But here, uh, but, but Christian, a religion, like being a sociologist, um, following a religion, it's difficult to be, to follow because, A, because there's so many different ways to interpret. It's like laws in the United States, right? As both of you know, right? You can read the Bible and you, you can read the, the Quran. You can interpret it in so many ways. Being religious, like in this case, being Christian, let me just stick with Christianity. It's like, it's like freedom you ne or democracy. It's like democracy. You never achieve it. You always just strive for it. So you never achieve being like the really most awesome Christian. You just be the best that you can be under the circumstances, right? So now I want to go back to, that's different than what you just said. I've never met anybody who I was like, oh, that person's the, the only person who I ever met who I felt like was the perfect Christian wasn't even Christian. And I'm like, damn, you're not even Christian. And I feel like you're like following Christ. So anyway, well, I would definitely say nobody is a perfect Christian because obviously there's not. But what I am saying is that, like, if you're going to keep on doing the things that you say you're going to do, like going out every weekend, doing that, that's what I'm basically saying. Like, you can't, oh, yeah. you can't fully be, like, going to bars and doing all that stuff and then going to church. Like, that's Got my you. definition. Like, I'm okay. not saying you have to be perfect because nobody's perfect. Everybody sins. But what I am saying is that you can't be doing all this stuff and say that, you love God, but you do the exact opposite of you. what of what. Yeah, that's saying. that's like pretty obvious. Yeah, that's what I'm basically you know? saying. Yep, yep. So at the very least, you're like plugging in and pl and un plugging and unplugging. Yeah. Whatever yeah. it is that mm. you think that you are. Yeah, yeah. For me, like you have to be not 100 percent in him, but you gotta like head in that direction of like okay. where Jesus wants you to go. That's basically right. my decision. Have you ever had a conversation about this kind of thing? You know, about like how much violence people who com do and commit, who worship the same God that you worship? Uh, in high school, I took a comparative religion course, so uh -huh. I learned about many different religions. And uh, my teacher, he really wanted to emphasize the fact when we were learning about uh, Christianity, uh, the history of it. It's like all the wars that came with it and whatnot in the 20th century. So, you know, I did think about that then. It doesn't mm -hmm. really flow through my mind all the time. It doesn't stay in your mind. I mean, I learned it then, but it doesn't, yeah. I don't frequently think about it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. for example, here, right, no, no tabloid magazine is going gonna, is gonna to have on the cover, Christians killed 14 people in San Bernardino. And you don't because Christianity is, the, is a dominant religion here. So, you know, this is the, this is the nature. In the Middle East, in, in another culture where Christianity is not the dominant religion, you, you, you know, can you imagine that you see those kinds of headlines, right? That's why I said for the first one, I feel as though the media was trying to uh, portray a certain narrative on the Muslim people uh -huh. because uh, Christianity in America is the dominant religion. Yeah. So if Christians were to uh, commit a mass shooting, 
Like they're not going to say, oh, Christians killed this many people. Yeah, no, it's when Christians commit a mass shooting. Yeah. Christians commit mass shootings no, for sure, all yeah. the time. Yeah. How is that, how, does that make the two of you, to what degree does that like weaken your faith in some way that Christians commit so much violence? Right? By the way, do I sound anti-Christian to you? I a little bit say, what do you, what do you hear that I sound anti-Christian? Well, I was just saying like with this example right here, like I wouldn't necessarily blame all of it on Christians like World War II, obviously, because obviously world leaders were Christians, but Christians, but like you have to look at what calls World War II at the same time with the World War I treaty. Ver- uh, totally. So like, I feel like you can't necessarily blame everything on Christians. Oh, Christians started this, Christians started that. Like you have to go back to the root cause, like every problem is not just religion like as itself like world war one obviously the major reason is their treaty of versailles yeah and then obviously the rise of fascism with germany yeah. and then them wanting more stuff and and those were all christians i wouldn't say hitler was necessarily christian because he banned okay. christianity so all right okay so listen here's the thing though i'm what i'm pointing out is that the muslims the buddhists the hindus the other people who are committing all the acts are they can claim to be Muslim, right? I'm acting on, on, on behalf of Allah, but they're not Muslim either, right? But we, those two people who committed those acts, we don't, give, we don't grant them that. So I'm not, blame, I'm not blaming anything. This is, it's really good that you say that. I don't blame anything on Christians. I'm just raising the point that like, wow, it's so curious to me that Christians have been responsible. Christians, not, but I don't think they're really Christians, by the way. I'm, not, I'm, like, I'm like, dude, you might call yourself, just because you call yourself, I might call myself a sociologist, but I could be a complete knucklehead and not know anything about sociology, but I can still call myself, oh, I'm a sociologist, right? So, like, anybody can say I'm a, they're anything, be a fem. I'm a feminist. It's like, seriously? Um, uh, yeah. So, I think, I'm, for me, it's just a curiosity, and I'm just wondering how you guys how you hold that? Uh, I would say my faith still remains strong. Um, I mean, there's violence everywhere in the world. I wouldn't uh, lessen my faith just because of the fact that Christians kill, everybody kills, everyone sins. Yep. So it's like, I don't really lose my faith in the Lord. What do you, do you think I would, do you think I would, me personally, in raising these questions, would want you to lose your faith? I don't uh, see why you would want to do so, so I don't yeah. think you do, no. Yeah, no, I actually would want to strengthen you. By having conversations like this, what I know is it's actually going to strengthen people's faith, not weaken it. It's, it's just allowing us to, it's just, it's just bringing something into the, the analysis that we don't bring in. It's like, why don't we think this? Why don't we ever think this? Why don't we, like... Um, for me, I wouldn't say it would strengthen my face. I would more just say that you're trying to make us look at more options, like look at other religions out there. Don't be so narrow-minded. Like, just look what's out there. Don't be just open your eyes, see what's really out there in the world. I feel like that's what you're also trying to put out there as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't, it does. listen. Go with Christianity. Like you guys, go with Christianity, man. It's great. It's a great religion. It's awesome. Like go with it. Like why change up midway through? You know what I mean? If you, especially the two of you, you feel it. You feel really good about your relationship with God and with Christ. So like, man, work on that. Like, don't, there's no need to try somebody else. Like, don't knock on some other door. Man.